Muscles play a vital role in movement and bodily functions, making them one of the most essential components of human body. When we think of muscles, we often imagine the ones that help us run, lift weights or maintain posture. However, the human body actually has three distinct types of muscles, the skeletal muscle, the cardiac muscle and smooth muscle. Each of these muscle types has a unique function and characteristics, yet they all share the common ability to contract, enabling movement and various physiological processes. So let's talk about the skeletal muscle. The skeletal muscle is the most abundant type of muscle in the human body. It is responsible for voluntary movements, meaning we control these muscles consciously. These muscles are attached to bones either directly or through connective tissues called tendons. Skeletal muscles enable us to perform actions like walking, running and lifting objects. Aside from movement, skeletal muscles also help in maintaining posture. Even when we feel relaxed while sitting or standing, many of our skeletal muscles are actively making small adjustments to keep us balanced. Additionally, these muscles help regulate body temperature and generate heat during contraction. So let's talk about the structure of the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscle is composed of long cylindrical cells called muscle fibers, which are multinucleated, meaning they contain multiple nuclei. These muscle fibers are organized into bundles called fascicles which are surrounded by a layer of fibrous connective tissue called perimysium. Multiple fascicles come together to form a complete muscle which is encased in another connective tissue layer known as epimysium. Inside each muscle fiber are myofibrils which contain myofilaments. These filaments are composed of two main proteins actin which are the thin filaments and myosin which are the thick filaments. The interaction between actin and myosin within structures called sarcomeres allows skeletal muscles to contract giving them a ciliated or stripped appearance. For skeletal muscles to function, they require signals from the somatic nervous system which allows voluntary control over movement. This is in contrast to the other two types of muscles which operate involuntary. Now this leads us to the cardiac muscle. As its name suggests, cardiac muscle is found exclusively in the heart. It plays a single yet crucial role which is contracting to pump blood throughout the body and delivering oxygen and nutrients to various tissues. Unlike skeletal muscles, Cardiac muscle operates involuntary, meaning we do not have conscious control over our heartbeat. Structure of cardiac muscles Cardiac muscles share some similarity with skeletal muscle, such as the strengthened appearance, but it has unique features as well. Cardiac muscle cells, known as cardiomyocytes, are shorter and branched allowing them to interconnect with other cells. Each cardiomyocyte typically contains one or more central located nuclei. One of the most important features of cardiac muscle is the interscalated digs between the cells. This structure contains gap junction which allows electrical signals to pass rapidly from one cell to another. This ensures that the heart contracts in coordinated manner, making it an efficient pump. Cardiac muscle is controlled by autonomic nervous system, which adjust heart rate based on body's needs. Specialized cardiac muscle cells called pacemaker cells generate electrical impulses that regulate the heartbeat automatically. So, let's talk about the smooth muscles. 
which are the silent regulator of internal organs. Unlike skeletal and cardiac muscle, smooth muscle is found in the walls of internal organs such as the digestive tract, blood vessels, airways, bladder and the uterus. Smooth muscle is responsible for involuntary movements that regulate essential bodily functions such as blood pressure, digestion and respiration. Structure of the smooth muscle Smooth muscle cells are small and spindle shaped and they have a single centrally located nucleus. Smooth muscle cells are typically arranged in two layers. Number one, the longitudinal layer. Muscle fibers here run parallel to organs along axis, causing the organ to shorten and widen when contracted. Number two, the cellular layer. Muscle fibers wrap around organs circumference, causing it to lengthen and narrow when contracted. This alternating contraction of two layers produces peristalsis, a wave-like movement that propels substance through digestive tract and other organs. Like cardiac muscle, smooth muscle is regulated by the autonomic nervous system and function automatically. So in conclusion, the human body relies on three types of muscle, the skeletal, the cardiac and the smooth muscle. Skeletal muscles enable voluntary movement, cardiac muscles keep the heart beating, and smooth muscles regulate the function of internal organs. Despite their differences in function and structure, all three types of muscles share a fundamental ability to contract, making them crucial for our survival. Understanding these muscle types helps us to appreciate the complexity and efficiency of the human body. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment on what video you want me to make next. Thanks for watching as always and see you in the next one.